Hello, I am Adam Carlson, and I am coming to you from Murphy Entertainment Studio to uh, continue our eight-part series on movie reviews, and tonight will be part five. I will be bringing you my top five comedies, in my opinion. And without further ado, let's get to the list. Number five, I went off the beaten path a little bit and uh, found a, a good one that probably not too many people have heard of. It's a Jack Black film called Be Kind Rewind. Uh, it has a unique plot. Uh, a pair, uh, Jack Black gets into a... a electrical accident and becomes magnetized and uh, accidentally erases all the films in his uh, friend's dad's video store. So uh, how they fix this is they have to go back and try to shoot all these movies themselves as requested. And uh, uh, some of his, some of their takes are hilarious. Like the the Ghostbusters and the the RoboCop are just can't miss. And uh, this film is right up the alley, or should be right up the alley of anybody who's into YouTube, really. Uh, whether you post or or shoot videos or or ju just watch other people's videos on there. This film should be right up your alley. So, number five, Be Kind Rewind. <clears throat> number four, uh, I decided to go uh, uh, a little off track a little bit, but I definitely consider this more comedy than horror. It is a movie Sam Raimi's Army of Darkness and let me preface this by saying that I actually like Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 a little bit more than this movie but uh, this movie is great for uh, for the, that kind of uh, get, getting com comedy with your with your uh, de your dead people and in my opinion, that this is Bruce Campbell's best performance as Ash, even better than Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. So, um, this is really the movie that, that makes Ash the iconic character that it, he is, in my opinion. So, number four, Army of Darkness. Number three, uh, and unfortunately I, I do not currently uh, have this film, it's out on loan, but uh, the number three film will be Super Bad. Uh, if you haven't seen this movie, uh, you should. It's, uh, it's basically a teen comedy about growing up, well, one of those, but uh, it's great. Bill Hader and Seth Rogen play not 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 crooked cops, but but they are not bad. They are not good at their jobs. Uh, Michael, Sarah, and Jonah Hill are delightfully awkward as the the teens that are trying to come of age. But uh, definitely the the best part of this movie is Christopher Metz Plaza's uh, McLovin. And uh, the, this is one of those roles that I, I think for him is going to be kind of like Keanu Reeves with Ted and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and that no matter what he does he, he's always going to be McLovin. And uh, I think that's a good thing. Maybe he, he would see it as a negative, but uh, I would like to be known for something rather than nothing. And every time I see him in a movie, I'm still like, isn't that that McLovin guy? So, number three, super bad. Number two, and uh, 
There are probably some people who will be surprised that this is not number one, but uh, you know, you'll find out why in a minute. Uh, Dumb and Dumber, and I'll, I'll be honest, this movie's dumb as hell, but it's also funny as hell, and uh, uh, yeah, the Jeff Daniels and Jim Carrey, the, they play probably the two dumbest people you'll ever see in a movie. Uh, this is, pro in my opinion, the most quotable movie comedy of all time. Uh, I would love to throw some quotes at you, but, uh, uh, but due to possible copyright laws, uh, I, I will restrain from that, but, uh, you know, it, it's very quotable, very funny. I, I could watch it probably a million times and still laugh at the same parts, and, uh, yep, uh, the, the, the best part of this is, uh, I'd say it's impossible for, for you to watch two people about to start fighting without making some reference to sea bass. And why not? Because we all know sea bass kicks ass. So number two, Dumb and Dumber. And number one, this is... The, I, I don't have an exact count, but I would roughly say that this is the movie that I've seen more times than any other movie ever. And that is 1984 Ghostbusters. Uh, an Ivan Reitman film uh, starring Bill Murray, Harold Ramis, Dan Aykroyd. And, uh, I mean, th this film basically speaks for itself. Uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, what's wrong with you? Uh, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's very funny, uh, very good, 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 sp very good special effects for its day. And I'm still hoping that one day somebody will mistake me for a god so I can use the lessons I've learned in this movie. And so, number one, Ghostbusters. And that concludes the, the top five comedies of all time. Uh, if you like what you saw or didn't like what you see, if you think I'm stupid, you think I'm smart, like, subscribe, uh, post some comments, and let's get some action going on these things. And uh, next week, uh, Mike Murphy will be back with his top five actions of all time. Thank you, and have a good evening.